All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Arno Bernard Battler here with me uh, for a quick review. And uh, we're gonna analyze the look and the feel because there's no sound being, you know, a fixed plate. Uh, so let's do a quick size comparison first. This is up against this smaller brother. This is the Arno Bernard Marmoset. Uh, this is the uh, Chris Reeve Knives uh, uh, Nandi. Uh, this is, for example, another beautiful piece. Uh, this is Le Thier uh, by Fontenil Pateau. And let's do another small guy. Why not? We have the Spyderco McBee over here. And uh, what can we do? We can do this big boy over here. This is the Fontenil Pateau Laguiole. And uh, of course, let's throw in, you know, Spyderco Para 3 and uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2, just to give you a couple of popular options to compare this guy with. Uh, so, this is a, an overall great knife. It's a uh, you know 6.77 inch long overall knife. Uh, the blade is 3.15 inches. Um, it, it's great. The steel is Bowler N690, so it's not the best steel around, but still, it's a pretty good to go one. Uh, this is beautifully finished. Uh, like, look at the mirror polish that is that they put on this blade. It's just like phenomenal this is spectacular guys very very nice fit and finish overall uh, there's a hollow grind going on um in this case, uh, I picked the giraffe bone uh, handles, and uh, which gives uh, like a truly unique look to this uh, to this knife. And uh, Arno Bernard um, says that uh, they don't uh, hunt for giraffes, of course, of course, because they they are like an endangered species. So they just go and look for. Uh, uh, bones in the field so that's you know something to to keep in mind so they're not gonna be exploiting uh, these animals uh, in any ways uh, the handle is beautifully beautifully polished and has a very cool um, kind of like a sun rays uh, pattern going on on both sides as you can see, uh, the weight is going to be two ounces, so extremely light, a very, very EDCable ed blade. Um, you can just throw this in wherever. Uh, it's going to be also like uh, coming with this pretty cool bovine uh, uh, custom leather sheet, uh, has like a belt, uh, a loop, uh, nicely sewed. Look, check out just how. It is, it is done. I mean, this is very nice. Also, this one has like um, a very nice uh, snap uh, retention finish. So basically you just, uh, you know, put your knife in and then you can use uh, your lanyard over here, like uh, between these, uh, inside this clip like that. So it's not gonna go anywhere. So very, very clever uh, solution uh, to not to lose your knife. Um, the price of this guy is going to be around $250 uh, US, but you know, depending on the configuration, you can start uh, from $200 and end up to the $300 range um, because you can get this one in many materials. I think you can get in um, carbon fiber, G10, uh, like sheep horn. Uh, you, you can uh, choose, you know, the handle this based on your style, basically. Uh, this assembly is going to be also pretty easy because look at this you have just like a couple of m mini torx uh, bit screws uh, going on so if you need to disassemble it it's going to be like a breeze um, this is made in south africa and uh, it's just a very cool design uh, this is um, you know it's marketed as a bird and trout uh, uh, design so it's going to be very very good uh, if you need to do any meticulous caping job but also it's going to be pretty good at uh, you know everyday carry because the size the weight uh, and the the overall not aggressive uh, look uh, so very very good uh, overall little fixed blade so yeah so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and stay tuned